Hi, my name is Janice Pollan. I'm a teacher in an elementary school where I work with small groups of students as a reading and math specialist. Today, I'm going to be talking about using manipulatives to teach students math. When used in a well thought out lesson, manipulatives can help students understand difficult concepts and enhance math outcomes. This activity today is called 99 and over. For this activity, you will need one six-sided dotted die. You'll need some craft sticks and elastic bands. And you'll also need a trading board for each student, which can be simply made by taking a sheet of paper, dividing it in half, and labeling one side tens and one side ones. Step one in this activity is to have students in small groups of two or three take turns rolling the die. The student rolls and chooses that number of sticks to put into the ones column. They are not allowed to have more than nine sticks in the ones column. As you see, they'll build upon this, adding sticks to the ones column. There are now eight sticks. They reached ten and have two left. So when they reach the number 10, they bundle those sticks and wrap them with an elastic band, moving that over into the 10 side. Continue play until the first stu student reaches 99. A variation on this lesson would be to use two dice. It would make the game go faster and it would also give the students an opportunity to use some pre-made bundles of 10 when they roll 10, 11, or 12. These activities are very helpful in developing an understanding of addition, encouraging building in tens, and adding single digit numbers to a cumulative total. For decades, educators have recommended using manipulatives to assist young students in learning mathematics.